Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. So it's a nice and quiet evening. I'm just dropping some energy all in my mold. You just had me a cup of coffee. I'm ready to chill with you guys. So thanks for joining me again. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for all of my subscribers as well as my new subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much, okay? Thank you for all the loves and the bookings and shit that y'all been giving me. I appreciate you all. All right. So I have another message and this is the base over our energy of the collectives at this time, which you guys just got was a masculine energy love letter. OK, but of course, you know what he feeling and how he's acting and doing and what he's doing is totally different. OK, so we're going to go ahead and get into the regular energy. But first of all, I want to share with you guys <clears throat> this. The curse has been lifted again. All right. So divine is getting very annoyed because they have to keep going in here and lifting curses. OK, so, you know, at some point they're going to get truly annoyed. And that's why people are receiving bad karma. And it's almost like double karma. Somebody keep on playing fucking mind games with divine. All right. And they keep on protecting you guys and lifting these curses. So please believe that divine know exactly what's going on here. OK, and they are lifting these curses. This is something that they want you to know. Somebody keep trying to fuck with y'all money. Keep trying to fuck with y'all business. Somebody want to keep y'all broke. All right. They manifesting, uh, <clears throat> trying to kill your manifestations. Look at that. They don't even want me to say it. I'm getting like throat chakra. <clears throat> All right. They also wishing death spells. The other night I was driving down the road and hey, a black cat ran right on across my car and looked right me, looked at me right in the eyes. You know, and as soon as I was like, wow, you know, that was some confirmation, okay, that I was feeling that black magic was being done, okay, that was some confirmation, that's like an old, old saying about bad luck, okay, so um, that's what my grandma and them used to call that kind of energy, and it ran right across my car and looked me right in the fucking eyes, I was like, well, I'll be damned, okay, so damn, so I just want y'all to know it is out there, but you are blessed and divine has lifted the curse again. All right. Lifted it again. So somebody trying to fuck with your money. All right. So we're going to dig into who's trying to fuck with your money as well. <clears throat> Somebody's still stuck in an ego. And that's why this, this, um, thing is on a pause. All right. Somebody's stuck in an unhappy relationship, an unhappy couple here. They're bored with each other. There's no love in there. They just stuck in this situation. All right. And it's a third party situation at that. Somebody could be having an affair or sleeping around with somebody at their job as well. All right. This is competition. You know, everybody want to be the fucking bride to a player. <clears throat> All right. And divine said that <clears throat> it's a lot of throat chakra energy here. Somebody I'm um, trying to speak up, but they scared. All right. It's a lot of distance here because of this competition. Divine could have blocked this person from you because of all this competition. Distant you, you guys could be relocating. A lot of you guys could be moving on, you know, because this is not working. It's not the time. All right. There's redemption and forgiveness here. Somebody wants you to forgive them. All right. They want to give you some truth and clarity. All right. Because they know they've been holding some fucking secrets. So somebody wants to reveal somebody's secrets or this is. The divine masculine wants to reveal some of his secrets to you because <clears throat> they don't want to lose you. And they feel like they had a last point here. For some reason, I feel like my voice is like, ugh, like throat chakra in here. But somebody know they've been out here making broken promises, breaking hearts. This, that player energy. And there's some truth that's coming out about this behavior. Somebody's very defensive. They feel like they got to protect themselves because they got caught up in situations about breaking people's heart. All right. A lot of shit is going to be revealed right here in divine timing. All right. Divine masculine could be out just fucking around, having meaningless rebound sex with people <clears throat> in dark night of the soul energy. All right. And they're definitely reminiscing about you thinking about what you guys had wanting you back here. But now they have developed a bad reputation, putting themselves in sticky situations. They definitely want to talk to you, Divine Film. They really want to communicate with you. <clears throat> right now, at this time, the Divine is saying no. You have to take a step back from this situation. 
because shit is not clear. It's still a lot of toxic energy involved in this situation. All right. And they say you will have joy and contentment. You will have a yes. Eventually. Okay. You will have a yes in divine set in divine timing. All right. So you will have a yes in divine timing. But right now, they're telling you to step back from this situation. And they want you to trust the universe. Okay? Because right now, it's a no on this deal. They said no. Okay? No. All right. So, <clears throat> let's talk about this curse. This financial curse that somebody put on you guys. Because somebody wants y'all to be broke. And they want y'all to start from zero. They want y'all to struggle. Okay? That's what they want y'all to do is struggle. Holy Spirit, clarify this curse. Lift it on these finances. Holy Spirit, what is this? Yep, somebody don't want y'all to be stable. Y'all could be seeing 444. Four, four. They want to kill your stability. All right? And this was a fake-ass partnership. Somebody walked into a relationship on sexual pretenses as well. It's like sex and pleasure, business and pleasure. All right? So somebody, you know, have a mutual relationship with somebody, but it's all about sex. Somebody's trying to keep somebody tied to somebody for it. What they find for their finances through sex. Somebody knew that you was getting a new opportunity, a new job. They put a curse on that. If you was out looking for a new job, somebody's trying to keep you stuck, um, being unemployed. They put a curse on you so you can't find a job. All right. They know that you guys are going to get lucky and they try to put a curse on that. Okay. And they're no, um, they just in fear of where you're going next. They in fear that you might amount to something big and they put a curse on that. Okay. Wow. They don't want you to have nothing or be nothing. All right. They want you to make bad investments and lose all of your money. Anything that you're investing in, they want it to be a failure. Okay. And they want your hard work to not pay off. They just want you to be taken for granted and get used and played and not get paid. Okay. Mm hmm. That's what they are putting out there on you. All right. We're going to keep going with the curse lifted. All right. And we're going to take it to the traditional tarot and see about this curse that Spirit talking about here. Holy Spirit, give us some energy on this curse lifted with the traditional tarot. What's going on with this curse here? What else was here? Wow. The, the person who's in this unhappy couple, this is the person who did this curse. This is the first card that came right back out. They said this is the person who put this curse on this relationship because this person knows that the masculine is attracted to the divine femme. So they put this curse on you, divine femme, and this relationship. All right? Because <laughs> they're in this third party situation. Wow. The same curse came right back out again. Wow. Because this person is the fucking devil. So whoever your masculine is with, that person is the devil. They're toxic. And they're enhancing your masculine to get to this double energy and to stay in this energy. All right? So they saying whosoever he's with is the devil. Okay? And this person is the one who put curses on you and this union. But it's all been lifted. Okay? Because this person know that her masculine is, this masculine energy is in a third party already. And he still hold feelings for you. Okay? The person he's with is toxic. And letting them cater to their devilish energies. That's keeping them stuck. Okay. Wow. And this card stay here. Keeping them from their wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. Okay. Somebody could just be over drinking all the fucking time. Somebody's a drunk. But somebody's keeping them from their wish fulfillment. The nine of cups. That's what divine is saying. That's what they did. That's what they trying to do. Okay. Any more energies? Yes. Another one here. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Divine kicking out that energy. He know exactly what's going on. He see what's going on. Okay? Divine see everything that's going on here. Who's putting these spells and curses on people? Don't think you're not being seen. He know everything. He just called out this little circle of bullshit. All right? And he said he moved you away from this divine fam. He moved you away from this toxic situation. All right? Because mm, it's too toxic. All right? All right, y'all. We're going to keep on going here. 
Let's find out some more about this curse, this spell, all right? It's to keep somebody stuck from awakening so they can't awaken, so they can just be stuck on them. Holy Spirit, give me some more energy on this curse so they can keep ghosting you, keep playing you, just keep ghosting you, all right? So they won't have no strength, no courage to connect with you, tearing them down, damaging their mind, heart, body, and soul. Making them feel like you ain't going to never see nothing in them again. Keeping them from awakening. They trying to make them not mirror you. Not be your twin flame. Not feel your connection. <laughs> Making them regret knowing you, being with you, seeing you, wanting you. Wow, how pathetic is that? <laughs> All right. And they want to spy. And they want to make sure that this is happening. Because this is why they're putting the curses on you. Mm. And they're lying about shit. And they're wearing a mask. And they're hiding who they are. And they're being fake. Fooling people. Divine said, you're not fooling me though. Okay? You're not fooling me. Alright? They said, keep daydreaming. Keep daydreaming. Like you're fooling somebody. But also, they want to take the thoughts of you, Divine Femme, away from the masculine. They don't want him to think about you anymore. All right? Masculine can be a male or female. It's the energy. They don't want them to balance out things with you. They don't want them to communicate with you. Okay? We're talking about this curse here. These are things that they're trying to curse against. All right? They don't want them to get grounded. They're just trying to keep them fucked up. And this is what the masculine is fighting for. Okay? This past life connection. This is all stuff that also happened in the past life. Okay? They start to they try to stop this rebirth in the past life. Putting curses on people. Trying to stop the masculine energy here. And to make you feel lonely. To keep you lonely and ghosted. To break up this twin flame connection. To stop this union. And here, look who stepped in. Divine. They're taking care of all of this. Okay? They're putting things to rest. And that's why they're telling you guys, don't worry. Because the curse is lifted. Okay? Divine timing is here. It could be divine intervention going on. Okay? Mm. All right, Holy Spirit. Let us know what we need to know about this curse. Let us know. Somebody is stuck in fear. This is why they're putting curses on you. They're in fear that they're finna lose somebody. All right? Because this person is um, getting signs and synchronicities. Okay? Because they're stuck in their ego. This is a spiritual narcissist. All right? This person is trying to um, bring back and create memories. Okay? Of them two together to make this person fall in love again. Wow. And here this person is right here. The karmic, the karmic stepped in right here. The karmic partner, the ones who's doing this curse to you guys. All right. Look at this ego card fell right down here again, slithering right on in, you know, offering temptation and blocking this connection. All right. So this is definitely who's doing this spell work, but divine is very much aware of it. Trying to stop this communication between you guys. Okay? And trying to stop this masculine from awakening. Alright? So divine knows definitely what's happening here. Okay? For those of you who are still in this connection. Alright? And trying to keep the masculine in denial. That you are a twin flame. Trying to make the masculine lose their passion for you. All right, that's what they're trying to do here. They don't want this masculine to feel anything else for you. They're just trying to wipe it all away. Look at that shit. And to try to make him not offer you a damn thing. To kill this offer as well. So this is why they're putting curses on you and this energy and this twin flame connector. And to keep the masculine at a crossroads. Woo, these cards just slipped out. I feel like Divine is right here giving me these strong ass messages. And to keep the masculine at a crossroads so you guys can walk away. And this is exactly what they want here for you guys to walk away. 
okay? For those of you who are still in this connection, who hasn't already walked away yet, here's two more cards. Because they're trying to create memories. They're trying to act similar to what you did. They're copycatting your energy of why the masculine fell in love with you, okay? Because they have a strong ego and they're determined to win, okay? So just be aware of that energy here. Look at that. They want to be the twin flame. And they could be telling your masculine that they're the twin flame. Okay? Woo, Holy Spirit, that's some strong energy. All right, so it's a lot of secrets going on here. A lot of secrets. So we're going to talk about these secrets and we're going to talk about this curse. Holy Spirit, give us more energy on this curse. This is about love here. All this love and stuff trying to stop this. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this curse? All right, they want to kill your energy. They want to get into your energy space and fuck it up. They want to keep this third party shit going on. All right, they want to keep the masculine stuck in third party energy. They want to stop him from taking action towards you. All right. They don't want him to be loyal to you. They don't want him to dream about you. Because they know that these are all the things that's actually happening. All right. They don't want him to apologize to you. All right. They don't want that. They don't want him to come to your home. They put a curse on all these things. All right. And they don't want him to heal this relationship with you. And they don't even want you to heal from this pain. Okay. They want you to leave. They put a curse on you so you can leave. Leave this masculine alone. Mm. Okay. They don't want you to relax and chill. They want you to be uptight and under pressure. They don't never want you to be comfortable. They don't want him to be attracted to you. All right. They want him to betray you. Okay. They just want this person to keep betraying you. Don't be faithful to you. They don't want him to give you any clarity. They want him to keep being a mystery. Keep bullshitting you and mind fucking you over. Right? Wow. Okay. They don't want him to bring you no gifts. No nothing like that. Okay? What are you talking about? They want him to keep these secrets. All right? They want him to keep secrets from you. They want this masculine to keep you in the dark. Okay? Ooh, look at that. Because this is the one who possibly trapped him about a baby. In regards to a baby. Mm -hmm. So they want to, um, this, this person could have also set the masculine up to get pregnant. You know, we've seen a lot of this energy. All right. This person could have had trapped him with the baby. All right. And they just want the masculine to go with the flow with them. This could be a baby mama also. Okay, and they want to compromise and work out what they got because they want you to leave. Okay, and they know that there's other friends, that he got other friends and stuff like that. They don't even want you to be the masculine's friend, and they don't want the masculine to compromise with you. They don't want this to work out. They don't even want you to be his friend. Okay, they don't want you to be nothing. They want to keep this person stuck at a crossroads. All right. This is all the stuff that they doing. They trapped this person with a baby. Somebody could have trapped this person with a baby. That was the spell work that was done on here. A curse to get pregnant. Hmm. That's one of their secrets that they trapped them. Here's some cards that came out. They they trying to stop the masculine from dating you, <laughs> from reconciling with you. Spirit kicking it out, ain't they? Breaking up with them. Yeah, they want y'all to break up, but they don't want them to break up with them. They putting a curse on all of this energy here. <laughs> that he don't settle for you. 
are wow and that he keep deceiving you Whew. all right wow look at all these messages coming out spirit is letting y'all know some of everything about what's happening here they don't want them to celebrate with y'all <laughs> more <laughs> they want this person to keep being a people pleaser and they want this person to keep sleeping around <laughs> They, so if they saying if y'all do get him, he gonna be fucked up. Okay. He not gonna come to your house. And he is not gonna apologize. Mm. So that's why they put a curse on you guys. But divine saying, this has been lifted. Okay. It's keeping this person mentally stuck and damaged. And they don't know what to do here. All right. They're very stuck on this. So the curse has been here. Because this person can't stop thinking about you. They mad. So they could be wrecking this person's reputation with gossip and drama. All right? Because they jealous that this person keeps thinking about you. All right? So a curse has been lifted. Tell us more about this curse, Holy Spirit. Give us the tea. Give us some more tea on this curse. Look at all it is. Okay? All right? The curse. More tea. All right? So they don't want this person chasing after you. <laughs> they don't want this person chasing after you. They could have put a curse that they don't have transportation to come and visit you. They could have did something to their car. Okay? They want this person to have lost their last chance with you. The last straw. Fed up energy here. Because they want this person to stay stuck in a third party with them. And have third parties with them. Mm. All right, and the mindset said they want to keep you stuck in a third party. All right, in a polygamy style relationship, that word, <laughs> and a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. They just want this person just to look so bad and y'all not to be happy at all. They want somebody to be stupid or they want somebody to see you as stupid or somebody think you fucking stupid. All right, it's low IQ energy here. Oh, divine saying no. They said the person who's doing this is stupid. <laughs> the person that's doing this magic, casting spells, divine said you low IQ energy. You're stupid. Okay? Mm. This stupid. Mm. Look at that. Woo. This card jumped out. It's like divine talking, y'all. Same shit, different day. All you do is the same shit on a different day. That's what Divine's saying. The same shit on different days. They tired of this shit with you. Okay? They tired of this low IQ bullshit with you. They said this shit ain't working. They tired of going in here trying to fix curses and shit that ain't working. Mm. All right? They see you. <laughs> it's like Divine said, I got evidence and proof on your ass. But somebody else got evidence and proof that they holding against somebody to keep them stuck in the situation. All right. And they definitely trying to just keep this person fantasizing about you. That's all they're going to get is fantasizing about you because they're going to miss this opportunity because somebody keep putting spells on them. All right. They want to keep somebody's pockets broke. Keep somebody blocked from you. Just keep them blocked all together and keep their pockets broke and just keep them stuck in fuck buddy status. You know, it's like somebody don't want the masculine energy to experience real love. They just want him to stay in fuck buddy status with everybody. All right. Look at that. Curse this person so they won't be into you. Into real love, which is you, divine fam. They don't want this person to experience that. Okay. They want them to stay stuck in their head at a crossroads, unable to think and analyze shit. And they threatening this person. All right. They're holding things over this person's head. Talking shit. Gossiping. Trying to make this person look bad all along. They know they put a spell on this person. All right. Offering dirty offers. This is how they keep them trapped. Their hands are dirty. And they give them money. They could buy this person. All right. Masculine energy. Taking, getting paid off. Hustling bitches. Taking their money. Accepting dirty offers. And putting dirty offers out there. And that's why somebody's really mad. They could have threatened the masculine. That if he leave and connect with you. That they're going to harm you. 
the masculine could owe this person some money. He could have made them a dirty offer and used them. And that's why they also put a curse on the masculine. Okay. Look at that. Made them an offer. A dirty offer just to use them for money. And they also put a curse on the masculine that he won't make you a clean offer. All right? Because the masculine made them a dirty offer. <laughs> Look at his dirty hands. This is a dirty offer. But then he want to come and make you this nice, clean offer. So they jealous about that. And they feel played and used. So that's why they put a spell on this person. Because he was being fake. He smiled in their face and stabbed him in the back. So they awfully pissed off about that. All right? Here she is. The spiritual hater. This is who doing all of this work. Who's all this hating. This is who it is. Divine is letting you guys know exactly who it is. Okay? Look at this. They're trying to run away now. They could have left the scene. All right? Here she is again. The spiritual hater. All right? Either the masculine ran away from this person or this person ran away from the masculine. Somebody could have gotten exposed. And that's why the curse is lifted. Divine said. Some shit could have came out about some shit. All right? Let's see what else is happening here with this curse. Holy Spirit. What else is happening with this curse that we need to know? Let us know, Holy Spirit. What else is happening here? What else do we need to know? All right. Tell us. That somebody's just full of deception and lies. All right. Now somebody want to rush in. Somebody trying to stop that. Somebody's trying to stop the masculine from rushing in to see you, to talk to you, to give you some clarity, to reveal themselves. They want to keep you waiting. <laughs> That's why they put this curse here. They want to keep you waiting. They want the masculine to continue to be deceptive and keep you waiting. Continue to be a snake full of temptation and ego. They slowed this whole thing down. All right? That's what they wanted. They want to make this masculine hot and cold towards you in and out towards you, inconsistent, unfulfilling, all right, towards you, okay, look at this, they want to make sure he wasn't sacrificing shit for you, that he wasn't giving up them for you, okay, while they're still watching you, because they know that the masculine has a burning heart for you, so they just want to make sure they're keeping him from change, so they can keep this union blocked. <laughs> okay? To keep it blocked. All right? And to take control. All right? To take control. So, so Divine know everything that's happening here. All right? With this twin flame connection. And this is what they're cursing. In addition to your finances. This is like multiple curses. Evil eye. And everything. They want this masculine just to long for you and miss you. They don't want him to have no connections with you. All right? But divine said you can't outpower me. They want to stay stuck in this third party energy. They want you to continue to be a third party. All right? It's like they don't even give a shit as long as they're number one. Okay? Children, they definitely trapped him with a child to keep him in a connection. And they know this masculine has a wondering eye. They know that he's highly attracted to you. All right. Gossip. They just want everybody to talk about y'all negatively. They want them to leave y'all hanging. Don't even answer the phone for y'all. Text y'all back or anything like that. No communication. See? They don't want them to communicate with y'all. They're trying to stop all of this from this masculine from taking a risk to be with you. <laughs> Your masculine could be a gambler, and they're trying to keep him stuck in his addiction of gambling. Trying to stop him from revealing and having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Mm. They're blocking off everything. They want y'all to continue to have this love-hate relationship that don't work out. That he's in and out, night of wines, inconsistent, make you feel some kind of way. You know, not promising you anything, all right? Having this tough beginning. This tough relationship. Yes. That's what they're trying to do here. You know, avoid, you know, not have this masculine apologize. Not ask for your forgiveness. Not even say, I'm sorry. A lot of you guys haven't even gotten a fucking apology because of this type of energy. Okay? And make them feel foolish. 
Just make them feel foolish about this whole situation. Make you feel foolish. Hurt y'all feelings and stuff. It's, they're de definitely working hard on this to hurt you guys. Okay? Look at that. To keep y'all as a casual sex partner. And that's all. Friends with benefits. You know? Keep you guys from having this commitment. To keep you guys just holding on to nothing. Okay? Just holding on to fucking nothing. To holding on to a love offer that's not coming. So it's all kind of different decks saying the same messages that they did all this work to keep you guys stuck in a situation they think that won't prevail. No union. They don't want anything. They don't want you to have a damn thing. And that's why they did all of this um, spiritual um, magic work, spell work, death spells, financial curses. All right, baby entrapments, love spells, deception spells, sexual spells. All this stuff has been done. And Divine said they're lifting all of this. Divine see everything. It was such powerful messages that the divine is seeing about what's being done here. All right, so a lot of shit that you guys have been feeling is actual, okay? So this is what I have for you guys. Just be aware of this fake-ass behavior, this fake-ass bullshit, and notice the red flags. So this is what I have for you guys on this one. Check you out next time. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye.